Hey y'all, it's Debbie. I just wanted to come on here and tell you that tomorrow I will be in my first collaboration with a bunch of cool ladies from YouTube doing $10 dinners for at least four people. This is tomorrow, August the 28th at 3 p.m. I know we can all use some help with making our families good dinners for cheap prices. See you then. Good morning, y'all. This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And today I'm just doing, I've got to get some vegetables out of my refrigerator. I mean, they're going to go bad. This is, let's see, this is two zucchini and two squash. And I'm going to roast these in the oven. And then I've got some more, what I need, all right, I've got these right here. I'm going to air fry these, but I need to get out some more to put in here because I can do more air more than this air frying and I forgot to do that before I all right so there's the ones I'm gonna air fry all right now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some avocado oil this is chosen foods avocado oil I get this from Walmart um, and it I mean it's good it doesn't have any taste and that's what I like I really don't like unless it's a salad dressing or something if I'm using oil I really don't like for it to have any taste all right so I've got that in there and I'm going to put this is Morton nature seasoning seasoning blend um I think there's I've got the other, I've got Morton Seasonal, but this is Morton Nature Seasoning. And I'm going to put this, well, this one hasn't been opened. I'll be dug on. I'm sorry, I thought it had already been opened. All right. Mm. Oh, this smells good. This says that this is a is a delicious blend of salt, pepper, onion, and garlic that adds and brings out flavor without overpowering the dish. Well, y'all, most of y'all that know me know that I do not like garlic. Um, but when it's got, it's just a little bit, a little bit of taste in there of garlic, that's okay. I just don't like garlic. <laughs> the garlic bulbs or whatever or minced garlic or, or any of that I just don't like it and I've tried and people say that you know things but I can not like it I just can't <laughs> so I'm gonna put well I'll turn the ball up here and let y'all see um maybe a mm, teaspoon maybe a teaspoon and a half in here and then my favorite is Badia Complete. Um, now they're saying that it's called Badia, I think, Badia. But I like Badia, so I'm just going to say Badia. <laughs> and I, you can get this at Walmart, too, but I found a deal. I got a deal at Dollar Tree um, back in the fall, I guess, where they were a dollar piece at Dollar Tree. So I got five of them. So I think I've already used one, and this one is well on its way to being used I just love this is my favorite spice now y'all all right so probably about the same amount of that in here about a teaspoon and a half all right and then I'm going to put pepper oh, let me get my little spoon over here all right I'm gonna put pepper in here and this is coarse ground black pepper and I've got this little spoon that I used for this. And there's the spoon. All right. And I probably didn't even use a teaspoon of pepper. It's got to where this pepper is really kind of hot, spicy. <laughs> All right. And then I've got kosher salt in here. I don't know why I'm showing y'all this. I've got kosher salt in here. And I'm going to put that on here. This is probably going to be a teaspoon and a half as well. Alright, and now I have got 
grated Parmesan cheese. This I am just going to pour in here because <laughs> I want it to come up. I want it to get on here really well. And I did forget to spray my, let me get my avocado spray out. Forgot to spray my pan right here. So I'm gonna spray that. Right. Now I'm going to take my hands and just mix this all up. Make sure that all of this is this squash and zucchini is coated in these in this mix. I'm gonna need some more oil on here. All right, let me spread these out on the pan and then I'll just, if I need more oil, I'll put it on there. These, some of these are so big, the slices are so big that it's probably, they're probably going to have to be sitting on each other because this is the biggest sheet pan that I have. Let me get them down as flat as I can, but like I said, some of them are going to have to sit on top of the other ones. All right, now let me get out the... I need to go and wash my hands and I'm gonna get out some more oil and pour some oil on those. And then I think I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more Parmesan cheese on them. And I'll bring you right back after I wash my hands. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I'm going to put some more of the avocado oil on here. I don't know if I'm gonna, I spray this, I mean I spray, I smell this Parmesan cheese out on here. And I don't know if I'm gonna like that or not. I may have put too much on here, but I've got my oven preheated to um, 425 degrees and I'm gonna put these in there until they're brown and, and as crispy as I can get them uh, without them being burnt and I will bring you back when they're ready okay y'all I'm back I didn't mean to say that I'd be back when the squash was ready I mean it, <laughs> it's gonna take a while for that and I've got other things that I'm doing now so I'm gonna do these in the air fryer just to see whether they're good like that or not I'm gonna do them exactly like I did with the ones that I put in the oven I get a little bit breathless my thoughts are too big Get some comfort, please. I guess I should have been honest. It breaks in my heart. It's weighing me down, baby. I'm going to put it in my um, air fryer. And I'm going to put it on 400. Uh, I'm going to have to turn them over but I want them to get done and to be crispy, so I'm really not sure. I'll go 10 minutes and see. It may take longer than that. I would think that it would probably take longer than that, but, you know, I don't know. But I've got the, I got another air fryer. This is the Power XL 7 quart, I think. So I'm gonna do these, on, like I said, on 400 for 10 minutes and i'll bring you back and show you i've got corn over in my ninja foodie that's gonna cook in there i'm gonna do steam i think for about 10 minutes um i 
really like the steam function in the um, Ninja Foodi and well you've got it on your instant pot too so either one of them will work but let me get this in the air fryer and I'm gonna steam the corn in the Ninja Foodi and I want to make meatloaf I'm not sure yet though I got to get all this stuff in here and done and I'll bring you back okay y'all I'm back all right, I'm getting ready to fix some meatloaf. And I've got some milk in this little bowl. I don't know, maybe a cup. I didn't even measure it. I just poured some in the bowl. And I'm gonna put this bread in there. I cut up this bread. This is four slices of just white bread. I'm gonna put it in there and I'm going to let it sit. Well, I've gotta cut up the onions and I've gotta cut up the peppers. Y'all can hear the air fryer in the background. I'm doing the the um, squash in there. All right, so I'm, like I said, I gotta cut up this onion and the pepper. Here's my ground beef. It's like, uh, it's probably three pounds right there. So I'm gonna do a three pound meatloaf. <laughs> That's the only thing, I, you know, I can't think anything else that I wanna fix today with the hamburger. I mean, I've got a lot of stuff that I could do, but not with hamburger. And I dialed this out the other day. I thought it was just one pack. I forgot that I put two packs in there and it dialed out, so. All right, so I'm just gonna let this bread sit here and soak up that milk. And I'm gonna cut up the onion and the pepper. I've got ketchup that I put in it. Let me bring you back. Somebody's texting me. Okay, all right, I'm back. All right, so I've cut up the onion and the pepper. Now I've got two eggs that I'm gonna put in here. There's one. Here's two. All right, now. I'm going to, this has been sitting here long enough, so I'm gonna put this in here. This is the bread and all for it to hold it together along with the eggs. And I shouldn't have done this and I shouldn't have, shoot. All right, I'm gonna have to do this one-handed somehow. All right, I'm gonna put some Worcestershire. I got Lynn Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. And I'm gonna put maybe two tablespoons of that in here and then sriracha for some reason I like my meatloaf a little bit spicy so I like putting sriracha in here all right probably a tablespoon and a half of that then I've got um, the nature seasoning, I mean, Morton seasonal, seasoning salt. Now this has a dash of flavor with seasonal seasoned salt, a delicious blend of salt, spices, and a hint of chili pepper. So I'm going to put that in here, and I probably need to open the other side so it'll come out faster. All right. Probably a teaspoon and a half of that. I'm going to put. Can you open it? All right, and then I'm going to put some smoked paprika. I've never put this in here before, but I really, in my meatloaf before, but I really like this. I think this really does give it a good taste. All right, and then he, the body of complete, I didn't put but maybe a half a teaspoon of the smoked paprika. All right, and the body of complete, badea, whatever you say, um, that's gonna be a teaspoon and a half. All right, so now I have to put my ketchup in here. And I'm a big fan of ketchup in my meatloaf. All right. The 
that much is going to go inside. That is probably a fourth of a cup. And then the rest of this will, is going to go on the top after I get it in the pan. Then you just got to put your hands in there and mix this all together. This is going to be a huge meatloaf. But I'll have something to eat on for the weekend. And if anybody comes over, I'll have that for them to eat. And all right. Just kind of blend everything in there and take your hand that go like this and get it blended in there and then take your hand around the sides of it and under it and mix all of it together. That's what you have to do with meatloaf like this. You don't want to mix it too much. You, you want to, you know, you want to get it in there, but you don't want to mix it too much or it'll just it'll ruin it so it'll make it I don't know I don't even know how to describe but you just like I said you want it I can see where there's pieces of this down in here that haven't been mixed up see that like right there that hasn't been mixed up so I'm trying to get everything mixed up and I just take my fingers like this and and then go around like your um when you're baking and you're, what is it, blending? It's not, uh, when you put like um, whipped cream in something and you have to go, um, I can't even think of the name of it now. Oh my gosh, I don't bake. So I can't think of what the name of it is. All right, so now this is all pretty well blended up. I forgot salt and pepper. But is this seasonal? That seasoned salt. Uh, can you put just a couple? Dana's putting some pepper in and salt. All right, one more of those. All right. And now um, about three of salt. So about a half a teaspoon of coarse ground black pepper and about a teaspoon of kosher salt. Okay, so now I'm gonna mix all this up and get this in there. I can't believe I forgot that. There is seasoned, seasoned salt in here, but I didn't use that much of that. All right. And I, you know, a lot of people don't put pepper in their meatloaf, but I love pepper in my meatloaf. I love it. All right, now I've got to go wash my hands and get the pan out to the casserole dish or whatever to put this in, and I will bring y'all back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, so I've got this big casserole dish here, and I really, let's hope this just falls in here and goes into a meatloaf shape all by itself. Think that's gonna happen? Probably not, huh? Whoa, this is heavy. I really didn't want to get my hands dirty. All right. This time it's both of them. Ugh. All right, I'm going to get Dana to pour ketchup, all the ketchup, out of this bottle and then probably put some water in it. A little bit of water in it after all that's gone and shake it up and get everything out. That's enough. We don't need no more. I think that'd be just enough. All right, y'all, I'm going to, I've got my oven heated to 375 I'm going to go on and cover this with some aluminum foil and for the first probably 
45 minutes I'll do it for um, covered and then I'll take the cover the aluminum foil off and cook it for another 15 to 20 minutes it's not I'll shape the it's like down here is slanted some but it'll be okay I mean it's not I don't think that I mean like if I was taking this somewhere yeah I'd want it to be uh, looking good but here at the house I really don't care as long as it tastes good as long as it it you know as long as it's got everything in it that I want in it then you know that's the way that it goes it'll be just fine all right so I will bring you back in just in a minute because the uh, zucchini is ready okay y'all I'm tasting this zucchini it's okay, but I don't know. It was probably in there for a good 45 minutes. And I don't... It's got the Parmesan cheese on it. I mean, it tastes... Well, come on now. Whatever. All right, let me taste this one. It's okay, but I think I put too many spices on it. So cut back on your spices. Maybe don't use um, the seasonal and the um, salt and pepper. The season, I, I mean, this is a little bit spicy, I think. Um, see, there's what it looks like. It's not burnt but it was in there on 425 for about a half an hour and then I cut it down to 400 and um, left it in there for probably another half an hour. It was probably in there an hour, a good hour. Mm. It is good. It's just spicy. All right, now I got to get the one out of the the um, air fryer, and I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all. Here's the ones from the air fryer. Um, they cooked for 20 minutes. Now, now I did not preheat this, so after six minutes, after it had been on there for 10 minutes, I took it. I mean, after been on there for six minutes, I took it back up to 10 minutes. So that added, what, just six minutes? I don't know. Anyway, and then I took it up to 10 minutes again. And it's not the least bit crispy. And I, I don't know. I can't get my, Unless I fried it, which I was going to do, and I am going to do that next week or something. I'm going to do some fried in cornmeal and see what that tastes like. This is... I don't know. I can't tell the difference. Let me ask Dana. Taste that and see if you taste any different taste any different. They're about the same. That's what I said. They both, they taste the, they taste the same, so, in the air fryer or roasted. So, the only thing is the roasting definitely made, the roasting of these definitely made my house hotter, but I've got a uh, uh, meatloaf in there now that's going to take an hour, so, my house is going to be hot no matter what. But anyway, I'm going to get off here and and I mean, I'm going to bring y'all back. It's just, I got to get off here and put this stuff up and get this mess up. So I'll bring you back. Okay, y'all. I'm back. All right. So I'm going to cook this corn in my air fryer. I don't know how long it's going to, it needs to cook for. I'm not even really going to worry about it. I'm going to spray it with this ham. And I'm going to put it in there for 
at 10 minutes. And then it's gonna have my air fryer is gonna have to warm up again. So I don't know, this may take 15 minutes or so. I'll let y'all know when I bring you back. Okay, y'all, um, th here's the potatoes. Um, yeah, this is a good, probably two or three pounds of potatoes I cut up there, the yellow, gold, whatever you call them. And I'm going to cook these in my Ninja Foodie air fryer. That's what they're in right now. And I'm going to spray them, which I'll have to spray them all along because these are really, I just cut them into big chunks, so it's going to take a while for these to cook. Probably, I would say, 45 minutes it may take for these to cook. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Right now, I'm going to start it on. i am got to turn it on. And then I'm going to do air fry. Shut the lid. All right, I'm going to shut the lid. It's on 390. I'm going to take it up to 420, 30. I'm going to go at least 35 minutes and see how that does. Remember, it's going to take at least five minutes for it to, to um, heat up. So I'm sure it's going to take longer than that, though. But I will bring y'all back when everything gets ready okay y'all I'm back all right here's the meatloaf and here's the potatoes I haven't done anything to it but put it on my plate I haven't tasted the potatoes I've tasted the meatloaf it's really good it's just not as spicy I guess I didn't put enough um of the sauce in it the chili sauce i can't even think of what the name of it is now oh my gosh my brain is over over whatever dana told me that she got another job today so she's gonna be leaving me and my brain has just had it so but for those of you that remember and have been around <clears throat> Haley is coming back Monday so I got to put ketchup on my stuff y'all <clears throat> Haley is going to be coming back Monday and I forgot to put salt and pepper on the potatoes as I was cooking them and these cooked for 45 minutes but I forgot about them at the very end so I don't know well I don't do they taste okay to you? Yeah. They're, they're kind of like crispy on the outside and soft and inside, aren't they? Yep. Wow, y'all. I can't wait to taste this. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. They are really good. Alright, so they're cut. You can't really see, but they are cut in pretty big chunks and it did take them this way I think I probably would have done it 40 minutes instead of 45 if I had remembered but they really are good wow All right now let me taste the, the meatloaf for y'all there's the meatloaf mmm Mm-mm-mm, y'all. Yeah. <clears throat> it's definitely got some onions in it, but it's got a little onion to it. The, the onion was the lowest onion that I've ever used, and it tastes more like onion than anything else. And I've got the green bell pepper in it. I've got all those um, spices and all, and I just can't taste any of them. I don't taste the body of I don't taste the um, sriracha. That's what it was. I couldn't think of long ago. Sriracha. Um, I don't taste any of that. It's just like kind of like hamburger. I mean, it, it it did stay together. And let me show you what um, Dana did. 
in the other casserole dish that it was in, of course, when you take, took it out of the oven, when she took it out of the oven, it was full of grease. So she took these two big spatulas that I have and lifted it up and put it right into here perfectly. Not none came apart or anything. And I'm always, when I fix meatloaf, I can never wait to, um, to cut it or whatever. But this time I forgot and forgot about it. And so it's set and it just, now it just cuts perfectly out of that. I am just really excited about this. But that's what Dana did. Dana lifted that meatloaf. And this is probably the biggest meatloaf that I've ever made. Really, for, for real, for real. <laughs> Dana gets, laughs at me because I say for real, for real all the time. But mm, it really is good. Mmm. Mmm, the potatoes. All right, y'all. This is what's for dinner today. Mmm, mmm, mmm. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Look below for links to my Facebook, and my Twitter, and my Instagram. And also, there'll be links of different things that I use in my kitchen that you can get on Amazon. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'm going to eat now because I just really want to, to get into this. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.